Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on mastering make.com and Google Sheets for unstoppable sales automations. If you're aiming to boost your productivity, streamline workflows, and stay on the top of your lead tracking and follow-ups like a pro, this video is your ticket. We'll be breaking down every step, so if you're tired of losing track of your leads or missing those critical follow-ups, you are in the right place. Ready to become a sales automation wizard? Let's get started. So first of all, thanks for coming back and a big welcome to all the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here is to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community linked below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe, hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. All right, let's dive into setting up this powerful workflow. Imagine you're about to build the ultimate digital command center for your leads, all using Google Sheets and Make.com. So first things first, head over to Google Sheets, click to open a new blank sheet, and let's give it a name that's easy and clear to remember, something like Lead Tracking HQ. We want this sheet to feel like home base, so take a moment to get that name just right. Now at the top, we're going to create headers for everything we need to track our leads like pros. We'll need sections for lead name, email, phone number, outreach status, and next follow-up date. It's like setting up a game board. Every spot has a purpose, and having it all laid out makes playing the game a whole lot easier. Go ahead and give these headers some style by making them bold, maybe even throwing some color in there that's easy on the eyes. Then freeze that row so you always know what's what, even if you end up with a million leads. Go to View, Freeze, one row to do that. Once we've got the framework, it's time to dig into the details. Under lead name, pop in the names of your contacts. Then under email, add their emails. Feel free to link them so you can reach out with a single click. Moving on to phone number, because sometimes you just need to dial it in. Outreach status is where it gets fun. Add a drop-down list with options like contacted, follow up, and closed. These labels will keep things nice and organized so you never lose track of where a lead stands. Here's how to make it happen in Google Sheets. Click on the cell where you want the drop-down menu, then go to Data up in the menu and select Data Validation. In the box that pops up, you'll see a spot for criteria. Choose List of Items and type in your options separated by commas. Contacted, follow up, closed. Hit Save and boom you've got yourself a neat little drop-down menu. Now, every time you update the lead status, you've got those options right at your fingertips. To copy that drop-down menu for every row, here's a little trick. Once you've got it set up in the first cell, just drag the bottom corner of that cell and drag it down as far as you need. Now, every row has that easy-to-click menu, and you don't have to keep setting it up over and over. Finally, in the follow-up date column, we're going to add a bit of smart styling with conditional formatting. Set it so dates turn a specific color, like red when they're past due. This way, whenever you open the sheet, the ones that need your attention will practically jump off the screen. Here's how you do it. Highlight the next follow-up date column, then click Format at the top and go to Conditional Format. Under Format Cells If, choose Date is Before and set it to Today. Pick a bold color like red for that You're Overdue vibe. Now, every time a date passes, it'll light up automatically, keeping you on top of those follow-ups like a pro. All right, with Google Sheets squared away, it's time to dive into make.com and bring this setup to life. Hop over to make.com, click to create a new scenario, and choose Google Sheets as your starting point. Here's where the automation magic starts. First, we're going to set up a trigger that checks the next follow-up date to see if anything's due for follow-up. So go ahead and choose Search Rows as our action. Now pick your Lead Tracking HQ sheet from the dropdown. It's like telling Make.com, hey, this is where the magic happens. For the sheet name, 
Pick the tab where all your lead info lives. Maybe it's called leads or something simple. Now head to the filter section where you set up all the rules to make sure make.com spots those due or overdue follow-ups. Pick the follow-up date column from your spreadsheet, then set it to earlier than and select now from the menu that appears. And this tells make.com to look for dates that have come and gone, giving you a heads up on anything that's overdue. Next, click the show advanced settings. This is a toggle to adjust a couple of important options. Set the value render to unformatted value and the date and time render to serial number. This way, make.com can read the date exactly as it is without any weird formatting hiccups. Make sure this automation runs daily so your leads never fall through the cracks. This way, your workflow is like a personal assistant that wakes up each day to make sure you're on top of things. All right, let's streamline this by setting up an automated follow-up email directly to the lead. In make.com, add an email module and connect it to your own email account or the email account handling follow-ups. If you're using a personal Gmail account, meaning it ends in gmail.com, there are a few extra steps you'll need to go through to connect it, uh, to make.com that is, but I've attached a video from make.com in the description below that will walk you through it step-by-step. -step. It's super easy, and once you're set up, you won't have to do it again. Set the recipient to pull the lead's email directly from your Google Sheets email column. So each message automatically goes to the right person without you lifting a finger. For the subject line, go with something engaging like just checking in or let's connect or following up on our conversation. In the email body, keep it friendly and focused. You can start with a quick reminder of where you left the previous conversation then mention that you're just checking in to see if they have any questions or need more info. Add a call to action, inviting them to reply or schedule a chat if they're interested in moving forward. To make it more personal, let make.com fill in the details from your sheet, like the lead's name or any other details you've recorded. You can even add a different follow-up template to keep things fresh and tailored to each stage of the journey. This way, you're not sending the same generic message every time. Instead, each email feels like it's coming from you personally. And if you're not sure where to start with those templates, I've got you covered. I've broken down exactly how to set them up in a previous video, which is linked below, by the way. So feel free to check that out to take your follow-up game to the next level. With this setup, make.com will automatically send these follow-up emails whenever they're due, keeping you consistent without the hassle. Now you're not just staying organized, you're actively nurturing leads, helping you build stronger connections without the manual work. Let's pause for a second and talk about how make.com and Google Sheets are working together to turn what used to be a ton of manual work into something that runs like clockwork. Imagine the time you'll save by not having to open up the sheet every day, scan for overdue dates, and make reminders from scratch. Instead, this system keeps tracks of things for you so you can focus on what really matters, building relationships and closing deals. It's efficient, it's effective, and it's all done with just a few clicks. Now, I won't lie, getting the hang of make.com can feel a bit of like walking into a new gym. You've got all these machines and you don't quite know where to start, but stick with it. The payoff is worth it. Once you understand the basics, you'll be building out automations in no time. This setup is flexible enough that you can really make it your own. For example, if you're collecting different types of data, add more columns to your sheet. Want to put in social media profiles? Add a column. Looking to tag leads based on their industry or location? Add these columns as well. Google Sheets and Make.com give you the flexibility to capture exactly what you need without adding a bunch of extra steps in your process. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. Once you've nailed this workflow, it opens the door to so many other opportunities. You can even turn this into a service that you can offer to other businesses. Imagine telling other companies, hey, I can set you up with a follow-up system that makes sure you never miss a lead again. You've already got the skills and the setup. All that's left is to make it happen for others. You can easily charge for this kind of automation setup. It's valuable, saves time, and it gives peace of mind. Plus, once you've mastered make.com, you'll have the confidence to take on even bigger projects. So if you're thinking about ways to take this even further, consider using make.com's filters options to customize what data actually gets saved. Maybe you only want to keep leads above a certain value threshold, 
or maybe you're only interested in follow-ups from specific industries. With the right filter, you can make sure only the highest priority leads show up on your radar. And for those of you who want to automate even more, consider combining this with other tools. You could add in an analytics app to track how your leads are converting over time, or connect it to an email marketing tool to send targeted messages based on your follow-up status. The more you layer on, the more powerful this setup becomes. Now let's introduce another handy workflow that can help keep everything in one place and ensure your, your team stays on top of all tasks. Create a task and a project management tool like Trello or Asana. Here's how it works. In make.com, add another action module to set up task creation. Choose the task management app you're using, such as Trello, to manage follow-ups. Start by selecting the relevant board or project where these tasks should live. Give each task a clear title, like follow up with lead name, so it's easy for anyone on the team to spot. In the description, make sure to include essential details, the lead's name, their email, and phone for quick access, the current outreach status to show where they stand, and the next follow-up date to keep the timeline clear. Finally, set the due date. This can either be today's date if it's an urgent follow-up, or you can choose the scheduled follow-up date from the lead sheet if you're planning ahead. With this setup, your team will get automatic updates in your project management tool, keeping everyone on the same page and ensuring no follow-up slips through the cracks. All right, let's talk about the possibilities this workflow opens up. Imagine your team gets instant notifications when any of your high-value leads are due for follow-up, or you set it so that any leads with closing potential pop up at the top of your sheet. Or how about automating a text message to a sales rep every time they have a high priority lead to follow up with on that day? With just a few tweaks, you can make this workflow run like a well-oiled machine. And once everything's up and running, it's not just about tracking leads and follow-ups anymore. You're building a system that frees up mental space, reduces mistakes, and lets you focus on making real connections with your prospects. No more juggling sticky notes or mental reminders. This workflow takes the load off so you can actually enjoy the process. Imagine the relief of opening up Google Sheets and seeing every new lead, every follow-up, every task clearly laid out and waiting for you without having to scramble to figure out who needs what. It's like having a roadmap for every day and the best part, it updates itself. Once you've got this in place, the benefits are immediate. Your reps will appreciate the simplicity and clarity it brings and you'll love the time that it saves. And if you're the type who loves digging in deeper, you can always refine this even more. Maybe you want make.com to automatically color code your sheet by urgency level, or even send a daily summary of emails to the leads who need follow-ups. Whatever it is, you're only limited by your creativity. So there you have it. An end-to-end -end guide on creating a lead tracking and follow-up system that does the heavy lifting for you. Whether you're a solo operator or working with a team, this workflow takes your whole process to a whole new level. You're not just saving time and energy, you're making your process stronger, more reliable, and ultimately more effective. Now it's time for you to take what we covered today and put it into action and start reaping the benefits of this game-changing setup. Once you've tried it, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. If this walkthrough saved you from drowning in follow-up chaos, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll always be the first to know when our next video drops. Think of it as your front row seat to automation magic. And if you're ready to dive in even deeper, check out our school community. It's packed with templates, resources, and a whole crew of people who geek out on automation just like you. Basically, it's like joining the Productivity Avengers. Once again, I'm Jake. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.